Okay, this uh, movie shows uh, a small overview of our over 50 events we've organized last year. And they have been the basis for our developments we've seen in 2010. Last year we passed for the first time 100,000 pieces. In fact, we produced and sold 103,000 pieces. And our turnover grew in 2010 compared to 2009 with 45%. So that's well above the uh, watch industry. Also, compared to 2009, uh, we had a small uh, go, uh, breakdown there. Compared to the industry, 12% versus the 27 of the whole industry. So our turnover last year was 23% higher than 2008. This year, we expect to continue to grow based on our accessible luxury positioning and our classical collections to around 115 to 120,000 pieces. So you saw already in the movie before um, the Picking to Paris rally which we have sponsored last year. This is a one in three years uh, event. So we will be the sponsor the next three years. And during Basel we introduce three chronographs. Here you see one of the pictures. It's a tricompax. Um, it's based on the Salita movement which we modify in our manufacture in Geneva from the traditional layout to the tricompax. And you'll see here one with black subdials. All those chronographs have their own mass, which you see here, with the Peking to Paris logo engraved and colored in red and the stripes representing the roads, the 15,000 kilometers that the people in this rally have traveled from Peking to Paris. You see here the two other versions, very classical, in line with our normal positioning in steel case, either with black pearl indexes and with rose gold indexes. All these watches with the special Peking to Paris mass. Then our other strong area are ladies automatic watches and our ambassador Miss Suchi, we brought her over to Geneva in January to do a photo shoot in the mountains and a photo shoot in Geneva. You see here the picture as well as uh, launching her, uh, the, her designed version of the ladies automatic. She was the one uh, asked last year, what would you like to do to create a special version in your name? And she did some design on existing dials. We talked with her and we created the Amour Ladies Heartbeat, where you have in the center the O in the form of the heart. Um, this is when, when she was in the manufacture in Geneva. And here you see two of the watches with this design on the dial. We have them uh, in chocolate heartbeat here, both with diamonds on the bezel and only diamonds on the dial. And we have as well a version in rose gold plated with diamonds on the, on the bezel. And then a steel version with diamonds on the bezel as well. So four versions, each in a limited edition of 888. And um, yeah, we're happy to announce that actually before Basel, most of them have already been signed up. So that's uh, very good news. Then another area which I would like to, uh, to bring up is Junior. Last year we introduced the first Junior collection for uh, boys from 12 to 15 years. Uh, this was a big success. We sold about 8,000 pieces of these watches last year. And this year we introduced the first three uh, models for junior girls. We've presented this picture before. She's in fact 15 years, so exactly in the target group. Well, she looks already a little bit older. Um, um, a model from the UK, which we have photographed also uh, in Geneva in the past months. Here you see those watches with the typical Frederick Constant dial uh, with MOP behind the Roman numbers. And we have a version with the hearts and diamonds on the dial. That concludes my part for Frédéric Constant. As you know, we also have the sports brand Alpina. And I would like to also mention a few words on that. Because Alpina, we have a huge new collection and a very important product.
priority in 2011. We go back very much to the traditional values of Alpina, the fact that the company is in place since 1883, and that we have integrated in our own manufacture the development and the production. So those two values, the heritage on one side and the manufacture capabilities, are really the pillars on which we are creating three new collections. If you have passed by the stand via uh, the etage on top here, you can see those in the press conference and in the press kit. At this moment, we introduce only the new universe, and we'll come back to that in a while, uh, which is the aviation universe. And this universe is based on the history of Alpina, the aviation history. We went into the archives and found a lot of uh, pilot watches from the 1920s, 1930s. Here you see one of them, for example. And we introduce here now a new, up-to-date version of this uh, aviation collection here with the manufacture caliber and here with the chronograph caliber, which is also a modified caliber which we modify in-house in, in Geneva. I skipped one of the slides, I'm going to go back very quickly to that, if this one allows me, which is the development of Alpina. Compared to Frederic Constant, I mentioned we are above 100,000 pieces. Alpina is still much smaller. This year we want to surpass 10,000 pieces with a clear ambition to grow to 25,000 pieces with those new collections in the years to come. So a lot of attention as well uh, for Alpina in, uh, in management, attention, in investments, and we hope very much also from your side in, uh, in, in articles and write-ups. And there will also be a lot of publicity made this year on Alpina. So that concludes my uh, presentation. Um, oh, one thing here I want to show still. All the aviation watches are being delivered together with a small plane, which is a Cessna Mustang. We have a collaboration with Cessna and Private Air. Private Air, the yet charter company, uh, very well known in Geneva. And we have a collaboration for the next three years for this aviation collection. All the watches are being delivered with the small model, painted in the livery of Private Air. So that concludes the 10 minutes, I'm not going to take more time, by all means uh, come to us or the other uh, the people you see to ask information on the press kits or any other interview you would like to do. I would like to thank you for uh, all the, uh, the articles we've seen in the past years, for those who have already written them, thank you really very much, uh, instrumental I'm sure in, in our growth we've seen last year. And uh, I hope you enjoy the lunch and stay with us a little bit longer. Thank you very much.